Let's... No, a bit disappointed after last night watching Brighton. Um, deserve a, um, with that ego of his, trying to, that third goal said it all, didn't it? Trying to play out was ridiculous, ridiculous. And it just looks as if, as, as gallant as Arsenal have been, um, everyone's rolling over at the moment for Man City. You think just, Brighton I, rolled over? Oh, unbelievable last night. Yeah, we sat in, nestled in to, to uh, 25 minutes, it's all over. I mean, credit to City, but I, what, what were Brighton trying to do out there? City, I mean, credit to City indeed. I mean, City were good, were they not? I don't know if you saw it. Yeah, I did, yeah. yeah. I mean, but do you honestly think Brighton... Well, I think Deserve, it's interesting, he was up for the Liverpool job. What have they done recently in the league? They've lost their way completely. And I'm, I'm looking at the other teams, I've looked at it and what they're up against, Forest, Fulham, Wolves, West Ham. There's, there's, none, of these have, none of these have won games. You're the not Spurs, telling us that other clubs game, are conspiring the Spurs to give game City the lead. Might not even be a fixture worth playing when they get to Man City by the time that uh, things come round. We'll see. We'll see. Because Villa, Villa are kind of like six points ahead, aren't they? So they've got to do something this weekend. Spurs against Arsenal. So. I'm not listening to an Arsenal invincible conceding the title already. No, am no, no, I? not at all. I think Arsenal have been quite magnificent. Yeah. Um, I would like to add as well. Um, you know, I haven't heard anyone say yet. Uh, watching the Sky production the other night, that Liverpool have bottled it. And if that was Arsenal who performed like that, then we'd all be hearing it, wouldn't we, from the rafters. Arsenal bottled it again. And I don't believe in that bottling stuff. I've said it already, it's, a, it's lazy journalism. I just think they've just not got the know-how. The front five of their team, five of that front six, have not really been there before. I know Salah's lost the way. He's the leading light and he's fallen short, hasn't he? Um, but you have to have gone down that territory before. Arsenal are in that area again and uh, making a really good match for City. But City are quite magnificent. I think context is everything. I mean, I'm going to go to the game on Sunday and watch Arsenal's title challenge wither on the vine, I suspect. Um, <laughs> but I think you have to give context to the observations that were made by people like myself and others about Arsenal. Because Arsenal were on top of the league and it was theirs to lose. And they duly did. Liverpool, you can argue, and it's a fair argument to suggest that Liverpool have fallen away at a time when you expect them not to. But there's different circumstances, isn't there? You've got a manager that's departing. You've got a manager that ultimately is leaving the building and all that goes with that. Mm. So there were different... But I do also think losing to Atalanta is... I question the strength of these players and I question the strength of that dressing room because ultimately there is an element of they... And if you look at Virgil van Dijk's observation after the game, which is how many players are questioning some of the players without naming them, there is an element of people stepping back from the opportunity of bottling is the colloquialism that we used. I do think it was appropriate last year for Arsenal... I don't think it's appropriate in perpetuity. I don't think everyone should be trotting it out every time they don't do something. They didn't bottle it against Bayern Munich. So I do agree with, with, your, with your dispute about the sentiment, but I do think it was appropriate. Arsenal drew with Southampton, drew with West Ham at the business end of a season. I think it's what you get with young people in any walk of life. You know, you need experience. You need to have walked down that road before. Too. And you know that when you're employing young people, you know, there might be some creative people out there, but when it comes to it, they can fall short and let you down. And they need to know how yeah. a strong And that's what well. happened last season. And I believe that's what's happening to Liverpool this year, despite the emotion that surrounds Klopp. We saw it in 202, didn't we, when uh, Sir Alex Ferguson announced his retirement and all of a sudden he had to reverse that decision because he saw it was starting to implode around him. That's what's happened at Liverpool. It didn't work. Yeah, I, I agree, Martin. I think the timing was uh, all important and all significant when Klopp announced he was going. Ever since then, um, they've looked a bit punchy, to say the least of it. City have now gone 18 league games unbeaten, winning 14 and drawing four. But post-match at the Amex, where Martin thinks that Brighton somewhat rolled over, Pep says, it's not done yet. What happened in Liverpool, I said to a player, what happened in Liverpool, what happened to us? It happened to Arsenal, so... People don't expect to lose against Crystal Palace and yesterday, but it can happen to us. It's football. So Everton is playing for relegation zone, like quite similar game, going to Manhattan Forest, and they play for their lives and give an incredible extra. But <laughs> maybe because I it was a real contender of us for many years, my appreciation for Liverpool is higher than ever. And you see the game they draw against, against in, in Old Trafford, the chances that they miss or yesterday for example Pickford was exceptional with two or three saves in, in, the, in the important moments and the game against Crystal Palace I'm going to have the chances that they miss so I say tell me the reason why I'm going to tell you it's football it's football uh, do you see uh, City slipping up from this point onwards Martin they've got, they've got Forrest on uh, Sunday it's hard to see that um, I think you know looking at Forrest one win in five um, this might be the one. This might be the one where you say, OK, they've got a hell of a lot to play for playing for their Premier League status. But when I look, cast my eye through and look at Fulham, 
um, one winning five and Wolves, one winning seven. Um, I don't think that puts any real fear into me if I'm a Man City player, what's up ahead. I think Arsenal with Spurs away and Manchester United away, historically, they're kind of our, two of our bigger fixtures, one local derby. The other one is, um, you know, you're the main rivals for Arsenal over the years. So they they represent, for me, much more difficult fixtures than what Man City have. Yeah, I mean, the messages are coming in, Martin, some of which uh, support your argument, others going against you. Wow, Martin's so bitter. City played uh, very well last night. Did Chelsea give it up? Uh, they made Arsenal look good the other night. I mean... I'm not so sure. I just thought, I think we saw the gulf in, in quality last night yeah. between Brighton and Manchester City, did we not, Martin? And when City are in a mood like that, no one can live with them. Yeah, but why would the manager, with you know, just to sort of, you know, Pep is there, you know, pampering his ego, telling, saying everybody, telling him what a good manager he is. He wants to try and play out from the back in an impossible situation. But they all do, Martin, don't they? I mean, yeah, look, at, not... look at Burnley, look at Vincent Company. Vincent Company has sacrificed, I believe, Burnley's Premier League status for a philosophy and that may well be he may well have that license he may well have been given that latitude by the owners when they're languishing back in the championship and they're 100 million pounds worse off it'll be interesting to see because Vincent Company will depart with his reputation somewhat intact I suspect but I think the tragedy for the rest of the league if it is indeed a tragedy is is Manchester City getting knocked out of the Champions League well, would have galvanised their spirit they had one thing to go for it made it easier for them as well in I, terms of to some extent yeah yeah, to a degree. Now, all eyes for them uh, are on the, the, are we, the league are we, title. But Jim, are we reaching the stage now, as we were with Manchester United, where they, you know, they were winning everything for years, weren't they? That aura that they had. Are we getting to the stage now where the Premier League teams are just melting away because it's Man City that turn up? And, they, and we all pamper them in the media. De Bruyne, Foden, and then it's like these miracle workers. And it's like, how can I possibly beat them? You know, I think that's what... We had to endure that with Manchester United. And we stood up, you know? Who is the team out there that's going to stop them? Is it one? Well, I don't, as I say, I think Spurs well, are capable. Your, boys, Spurs your, your are capable. boys are making a good fist of it. Your boys have taken points off them. Mm. Yeah, Arsenal. But, but Arsenal relying on someone else now to get a result against City. Understood. But when you're happening. asking the question, that, that who 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 standing up against City, Arsenal aren't rolling I'm over against City. I'm not worried about City. Arsenal. I'm not worried about Arsenal. I'm talking about the rest. And Liverpool are standing up against City. If City win this title, they're not going to win it by 18 points like they did a few years ago. They're going to win it by maybe four or five points. And previously... They, 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 they were winning it by 18 points until Liverpool and other yeah, clubs... Because City have fallen short of those incredible standards that they've set or, this year. Or, and by the way, that's or, not much... Well, you can't have both arguments, can you? No, you can't, exactly. You can't have them running away with it and no one standing up to them and I'm, then City have fallen short. No, Having I, said that, Simon, there is something of an invincible aura around Manchester City, isn't there? Well, it depends if you're Real Madrid or not. You can perceive that to be an invincible aura. <laughs> well, the, the, yeah, but when people hear Shearer saying that Foden is just incredible like, and you've got to play him next, so it starts to grow in your mind. Half, no, the well, play, half the players don't really watch the games completely in detail. They just hear all the propaganda all around it. They hear all the news. And you go into the game and it grows, it manifests in your mind. No, no I, agree, I, don't, I agree with that. I don't I know. Agree with I mean, that. Forrest... It's a valid though. question by Forrest, Shearer, though, isn't it? It's a statement from Shearer, isn't it? I, is, is he player of the season, Phil Ford? Well, he, he's not far away, is he? He's well, that's all he was shouting He's now. an incredible talent. But yeah, but what does that do to the opponent who's playing against Foden next them. time? Makes them feel even more supreme. Does it? Uh, you would rise to the occasion. I, I never and used take to listen. On. I never used to listen to all that rubbish. I was happy to take on to go to the pitch and play against Manchester United. It was lovely when it was just us and them. All the stuff is to one side. Let's see who's best. Is Foden player of the season? Incidentally, Arsenal invincible Martin Keown. If they win the Premier League, yes. Yeah. What do you think, Simon? Oh, I think he's. She had posed the question. I think he's certainly in the conversation and, and, and a significant part of it because yeah. he started the season with De Bruyne being injured. Um, and, and ultimately getting a starting berth as a default position as a result of De Bruyne being away, injured. And now he's in there absolutely unequivocally on merits. Yeah, just an interesting one, Cole Palmer. You yeah. look and you compare the two. If it were that Foden had left under the shelter of the, the nest of, of City, could he have gone to Chelsea and do what, done what Cole Palmer's done? I, I think the boy's got the same sort of personality, hasn't he? I mean, he's got the same sort of outlook. He would have to be going some, wouldn't he? He'd have to be going some, because that is incredible to go well, to. He's doing not bad, club, isn't he? In, he scored his 50th and 51st in the league under Guardiola. Yeah, but if you look at Palmer, he scored nearly 50% of involved in 50% of and all if, their and, goals. And, and in fairness to Martin's point, if you look at Palmer, he's playing in a clunky, not particularly well-together team. So the, the argument for Palmer and the, what he's, his impact upon Chelsea is even... Uh, debatable whether it's greater than the Foden's upon Manchester City. So yeah. the, both of them are in the conversation. Yeah. Interestingly, one of your uh, chums, Emmanuel Petit, uh, says that should, the nod should be given to Declan Rice in, in this area. I'm really enjoying Martin. what he's doing. He's yeah. been a, a massive, yeah. and obviously Erdegaard as well. 
Yeah. Um, and I, I made the point the other day about Arteta taking him. Everyone's saying, and oh, sure. sideways Boy, passes. Uh, wonder child uh, that he was Erdegaard at, Man at Real Madrid, but he was there, Jim, for six seasons and only yeah. played 11 matches. Let's put it out there. Martin saying last night that um, Brighton somewhat rolled over. And all this uh, deserve you're a wonderful manager from Pep it didn't really help in the situation. Uh, there's Joel, a Manchester City fan. How can Martin Keown say they rolled over last night after Arsenal won their 3-0 three weeks ago? Martin, you're so bitter today. Um, uh, there's another one I respect very much, Martin Keown, but I really and I really uh, disagree with him. But today I will. Brighton were, were nothing short of a disgrace last night. Their tummies were tickled. Um, so he is actually agreeing with you. Um, I can't, I can't see that, man. I think we saw the the golf in quality last night in in a very big way. What did you think? Did Brighton roll over last night? Jim White and Simon Jordan, Monday to Friday mornings from ten on AM on DAB via the Talksport app and on your smart speaker. Talksport.